Hey guys, it's Chief from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning 2018 video and welcome to how to use both condition boosters and stamina boosters. It's a question I've been asked here and there. You know, it's a question that never seems to go away, even though it's maybe not asked as much as some other questions in the game. And while I personally don't think stamina and condition boosters matter too much, for the most part, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I still figured I'd take the time, show you how it works, and certainly you guys can decide for yourselves if it's going to matter or not. Yeah, so how it's going to work, under play mode, the only place you can use it and the only thing it will affect is 2018 live season. So you go to season mode, now you're on the season screen, and it is kind of buried in terms of how you even get to a screen to use stamina boosters or condition boosters. If And I'll try to zoom in the screen here. In the bottom right part of the screen, where it says roster A, roster B. No, I'm not going to change the roster, but right next to it, that little blue square with the white square inside, kind of stacked on a second white square. If you touch that little icon, you're now on this screen here and you can increase condition and then if you go to pitchers you can also recover stamina with condition you just pick a player with a bad condition and then you hit increase condition you know what we'll do it for this eduardo escobar increase condition i had five now i have four escobar went from the blue sad face to the red perfect mood for pitchers stamina you know, once you pitch, it takes a little bit of time to recover. My bullpen is all perfectly fine. The starting pitchers, they get fatigued because, you know, you only start once every five games. If you look at it, Irvin Santana probably started most recently. We'll recover his stamina. Why not? Now his stamina bar, which is that little blue bar between that 0 0.99, which is his season ERA, and then just above that, which is his actual card. It went from partially filled out to fully filled out. You can see on Jose Barrios and Kyle Gibson where the stamina bars are not quite full. But yeah, using stamina boosters would help those guys. Now that I've shown you how to use it, I'm going to talk about why I don't think these are very effective and when they might actually be effective. Now, number one, the condition increaser. Look, over the course of a regular season... If you're simming 20 games at a time, you should hopefully not be that worried about the day-to-day -day condition of most of your players. With that in mind, if you're in a crucial playoff game seven, increasing condition can certainly help. So what I would say in terms of increasing condition is save it for crucial games that are going to matter in the playoffs. Additionally, with the stamina recovery, Look, expect your starting pitchers to each pitch about one-fifth of the regular season. However, if you want to ride your number one starter for every single playoff game, you could use the stamina recovery and then just keep moving them from slot one to slot two, let's say. Slot two to slot three, slot three to slot four. I hope you get the point. Yeah, so that's the one instance where I can think of the stamina recovery being really worthwhile. The other one I can think of is, let's say your bullpen gets heavily worked in a playoff game because a starter struggles. Again, it's a game seven, but most of your bullpen is fatigued. Then I would recover the stamina, at least of some of your top relievers for that game. So in terms of instances where recovering stamina would be effective, I'd say really just the playoffs. And with condition, Again, really just the playoffs. In terms of how do I have condition and stamina boosters, turn battle as part of the rewards based on the number of points you get, you can get condition boosters, you can get stamina boosters. Yeah, that's going to just about do it for this video, though. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more MLB Perfect Ending 2018 content. If you have any more questions based on this, feel free to ask away in the comments. Well, that's going to do it for now, guys. I'm G from Skull Gaming Network. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, as always, peace out.